Hi, I'm Tom Braducci from Zebra Technologies. Today we're going to show you how to hook a Raspberry Pi up to the internet using uh, Zebra's Zatar IoT cloud service. Now we're going to do that with a Raspberry Pi, any old Raspberry Pi. I have right now in my hand a uh, Raspberry Pi Model A, but it could be Anything basically with GPIO pins for the demo, uh, A, B, B+, plus, 2, 3, any of them will work. But in order to do the demo, we're going to use the Raspberry Pi with a add-on board called a Pyrella board. And the reason we're going to do this is because this board provides a push button, uh, three multicolored LEDs, uh, some other little LEDs at the bottom, things like that that will enable us to showcase bi-directional communication with a Pi in a visual manner. So you take your Pi and this thing just goes right on the GPIO headers. It'll even work with the 40 pin version as well as the 26 pin version. You put it on like that and you have something that looks like this. So you've got a push button now and you've got uh, three uh, little LEDs of different colors. And this will allow us to show data information coming from the cloud down to the Pi. We'll toggle the LEDs. And it'll also show information uh, that you know, when somebody pushes a button that goes up to the cloud. So we'll see bi-directional communication in near real time with the Raspberry Pi. So that's what we're going to do and let's get started. Okay, here we are looking at the screen of the Raspberry Pi. It's booted up, running the latest version of Raspbian connected to the internet. Right now, we have a terminal, terminal window open, uh, pointing at the default home directory of the Pi. It doesn't really matter uh, where you do this, but you need to get to here and clone the public GitHub repo into your Pi. So you do that by typing uh, git clone, p clone github.com slash zatar iot slash embed client RPI executables. And it clones it into that directory. Done. Uh, and then we have to CD into the directory that gets created because it puts it all into a folder. So CD embed client RPI executables. And there it is. Let's take a look at it. So there's a bunch of stuff in there. The only thing you really need is this file here, embed client RPI Zatar. It's an executable file which runs the actual demo. There's an optional file here called Watchdog, which the blog talks about uh, if you want to. But right now we're just gonna run the main executable. So I've got my Raspberry Pi hooked up, got my Pi Brella board in it, ready to go. So the only thing I need to do, and this is the, where the 30 seconds or less thing comes into play, is I just need to type sudo dot slash embed client rpi zatar. And when I type that, you're on. And so a lot of stuff happens. If you look at the top, if you had a big enough window, you'd see that this says welcome to the demo, make sure you're connected to the internet, Here's your IP address, your local IP address, and there's your serial number. And it goes and makes sure that it connect, uh, creates all the objects you need for that endpoint, even shows you the endpoint, and then registers on Zatar and connects. And when it says success, that means the Raspberry Pi is now connected to Zatar. Okay, so the only thing you really need to know now is you need to make sure that you know this serial number here which is going to be unique, obviously, for every device out there. Yours will be different than mine. And you need to go to Zatar, because now the device is connected, but it's not associated with your account. So you need to have an account on Zatar, log in, and add it into your account. And that's what I'm going to show you next. Okay, here we are at a test account on Zatar that I created. And it, the default view show you, shows you this world view. And the inner circle is your home world. So that's the one that you can add devices into. So you make sure that's selected. You click on it. 
and it opens up the device list for your home world. Now, you don't have any devices right now, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to add the Raspberry Pi that you just got running. That's where you need the serial number. So we say, click on Add Device right here. Modal dialog opens up, and here's where you have to type in the serial number that you got from your Pi, that uh, the output from the console. So it's DF for mine, I9, uh, 1E15. I type that in. You type your, yours in, whatever it happens to be. And now you have to select the avatar definition that relates to the Pi. For this demo, we've created an avatar defini definition for you. And so all you have to do is enter the right things in this dialog box and it will be made available because it's global. So under type, you click and you select IoT Kit. Under manufacturer, there's only one choice, Raspberry Pi. And under model, there's only one choice, Raspberry Pi IoT Kit. That's it. And then you just hit next. And if you want to, on the screen, you can add a nice name, My Pi Demo. And uh, or just call My Pi. And you can say, you know, home, sweet, home. And whatever you want. When you're done, hit finish. And that's it. Now your device is connected on Zatar, associated with your account, and displaying its avatar in the device list that you have. So you can see there's My Pi. It's a Raspberry Pi IoT kit. And this is the avatar. And the avatar shows the serial number. The Raspberry Pi reports up information like firmware and IP, local IP address, the Pi sees. It has commands associated with it. For this particular demo, it has, uh, if you want to look at the debug information, you can see the properties and methods that are exposed directly from the device. That's what this is. And uh, at the very top, we have a visualization pane, which right now shows a red, yellow, and green LEDs are all on because when you boot the program for the first time, they all come on. It shows the button state is up, and the button counter is zero right now. So if I want to, I can go to this and I can toggle the LED by hitting this. And you can see that it goes off. I can toggle the green ID by hitting that. You can see it goes off. And I can go up to the top here and see the activity. It'll actually show me that I toggled these LEDs and they were executed properly. And it shows that the yellow and the green LEDs are off. Now if I want to hit the button, I can come over here and I can hit the button. And there's a few seconds delay just because the UI here is polling, but you'll see that after a few seconds that button counter goes to one. If I wanted to actually hold the button down, hold it down like this, you would see that the button state after a few seconds will go to down. It shows that the button is currently down. And the button counter does increment because it increments on the falling edge. I let it up and the increment doesn't change, but the button state goes back to up. And that's how it works. So that's it. Today we showed a Raspberry Pi connected to the internet very quickly, running one executable that you can download and uh, providing bi-directional, near real-time communication, uh, commands, data, what have you, using the ARM Embed client and the Zatar IoT cloud service. Now, if you would like to do this yourself with your own Raspberry Pi and Pi Brella board, just get the hardware and go to the link, which I hope is gonna be provided either here or on the blog associated with this, and go to the public GitHub repo that uh, Zebra has provided and download the executables and run them. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for your continued interest in Zebra and Zatar.